What's up, people? Welcome back to the Homeless Crusade with the OG3. We like to call ourselves the OG3. So we got the homie Steez. How are you? Ariel, How are you guys? You going, the resident mix guy. Salute, salute, salute. Yes. Okay. So, guys, as we, we saw, again, guys, we, we like we always tell you, we always film, like, we, we, we pre-film things. Yeah. So currently, we're still in the month of February. We're actually hitting the end of February now. We're about yeah. to, at this point in time, we're about to hit March. But um, you could be seeing this at like the end of March. You know what I'm saying? You might be watching this for yeah. Easter, but it's yeah. all good. Eventually, <laughs> we get the edits done. <laughs> oh, also, we got a special guest in studio, guys. Hilary Duff. Manifesting baby, baby mama vibes. <laughs> Shout out, Hilary. <laughs> Shout out, Hilary. I see you, know you girl, with the cakes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm see your father. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, so um, as uh, you guys would have seen before, we released a gig guide video. Um, <coughs> with uh, the homie Chesey from, well, the homie Chesey in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, yeah. rhythm. Shout out Chesey. So um, I w- actually went to a comedy show. Candace and I went out on date night. So we went to a comedy show called Happy Hour. Mm-hmm. And that was at the Black Box Theater. And I, the funny part is is that Chesey mentioned it, but I didn't even know that that was part of it. The, the, the gig. Oh, was I, that I, was I went the to one of the events in the gig mm, guy. Yeah. I didn't even know. So we got there last night. And... There was this group. This is how we found out actually. So we, we got to the event last night and there were these people with like these bibs yeah. like that had like this thing, I can't remember what it said. But um they had like a survey yeah. that they wanted us to fill out. But the fir- survey asked a whole lot of questions about the person itself, like, you know, geographics and age groups and whatever else. Yeah. Mm. And then it got into uh, there was a section where it got into like okay, cool, so how do you feel about like the um, National Arts Festival type thing going yeah, on yeah, whatever, yeah. which is currently happening right now for those of you. Okay, well by then you would have probably gone to events and over. stuff. By now it's probably over. over. But um so they had like a whole lot of different plays and like singing performances and we went to a comedy show that we just thought was a comedy show yeah. by Neven Spence. Uh Neven Spence, Emilio Tobias and Zahir Gaida. If you f- know those guys, oh, y- yeah. if you don't know, you need to find them and follow them, guys, because they are yeah, hilarious. Yeah. So we went, and we found that the um, Happy Hour comedy show was actually part of the whole, festival. The, the whole festival, yeah. And then they had another event upstairs at Roof Garden Bar. Yeah. And then immedi- not immediately after, there was like an hour break bet- after the comedy show. And then they had like a little rock concert in the same venue at the Black Box. Really? But yeah. Like, it was and a band called Undead. Under- like yeah, you Same buy ticket, tickets. You yeah. buy tickets, and then you go, and then they like. So one ticket you covers the rock show and the comedy show. No, like oh, you've got to buy separate. a rock show ticket. You've got to buy a comedy show ticket. Oh, you've got to buy the jazz separate. band ticket. Blah blah blah. Whatever you buy tickets. I don't think that I don't think that they were that expensive. But anyways, back to the point. So th- I'm bringing this up because I'm trying to lead to a conversation that I had with somebody. So I got to. I actually just went to go and introduce myself to that guy, Zahir Gaida, mm. yeah. spectacular guy. He's so friendly. Yeah. Um, so his whole his whole stint is that he's actually by day he's a pharmacist, <laughs> and then you know he the night. alter ego by night he's hilarious. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. whole thing. And um, one of the things we uh, that, like I'm I'm the kind of guy I don't know this about me, but you'll see is whenever we're in a social setting again, you'll figure this out about me. I break the ice for you. So like if I introduce somebody to you to somebody like a friend, and I know you guys have. Uh, Anything in yeah, common? That yeah, I'll, do that. Yeah. I'll bring that thing up. Like I'll be like, "Oh, hey, this is my friend Stena." Yeah, he likes my beer too. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. they'll be like, "Oh, hey!" And then you guys, the, the snowball will just roll. Yeah, from yeah, yeah. So, the one of the one of the main punchlines of Zahir's jokes was that he's Indian, and the whole thing about like Indian parents and blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had an Indian grandmother, so I like I kind of had an Could idea. My granny was a bit more lenient; like she was a bit easier. Yeah, you know, than than a lot of Indian parents. I think like it's because easier how in terms like she of wasn't like as strict. So like value wise and not even value wise, dude. Indian education, people, and no, dog. They are like oh you yeah, need yeah. to if you whatever whatever career path you f- you focus on, if you're not gonna be the best at it at that, then you've got to be like another top earning type person. So like you got to become a lawyer. You got to become a yeah. doctor. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Isn't yeah. it the case of they don't not that they don't believe, but it's just like there's only a set amount of things that you can go yeah, into. They, they believe. They believe. Yeah. Like yeah. Doctors, lawyers. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're gonna Still work, the, the, the traditional yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If you're gonna work at Edgar's, you better become the manager kind of thing. Yeah. If not, go and be a doctor. If you're gonna go rob, you go and become yeah. the king. Yeah. Yeah. So he was yeah. making jokes about the whole thing about like, oh yeah, so like he he became a pharmacist, which is like a failed doctor. Because like he isn't <laughs> a doctor, <laughs> but he can give you medicine. <laughs> yeah. So like I went up to him and I was like, "Yo, dude, and listen, your your set was amazing, and I could relate to you because I myself am mixed and I'm I've got Indian family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're talking about that and just you know speaking about that and whatever. Like kind of uh, that's what I used to break the ice to kind of like just 
make him feel like yeah. oh, this isn't a weirdo guy just okay, gonna okay, come okay. and have a full-on conversation with me i don't i don't know eh. yeah but you know i'm witty so like i'm making jokes like i'm just cracking jokes about the stuff yeah. like about the whole being indian thing and whatever and he turns to me he's like have you ever con- like considered doing this and he's pointing to like the stage so i'm like what do you mean he's like like doing stand-up dude have you ever considered it? i'm like no yeah yeah mm. no it's not like a thing for me and he's like you should you actually you actually and after he said have you actually considered it yeah have so you started writing material ah, hell no you should this is what i'm getting it's, 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 not, it's not as simple as just getting on stage. i'm like gonna get yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah yeah i'm getting to this but there's a point that i want to make actually so he asked me like oh, have you ever considered it and then he actually invited us to come to um like he said we should come and check out the stand-up comedy nights at the savoy theater guys you should yeah, check yeah. it out savoy everyone should know where the savoy theater every is. tuesday right on a Sunday, oh, okay. every Sunday we in the evening they have it. It's like 40 bucks a ticket, so you guys should go check it out. So he was That's like, oh, you guys should check it out. I'll introduce you to some of the people, because I spoke to him about the podcast, and he was like, he'd love to be on. So guys, look forward to that episode. Yeah, 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 come in, come but, in. Um, we were speaking about that, and then eventually I was like, but dude, listen, it was lovely to meet you. You know, get home safely. Shot man, I really enjoyed your show. Yeah, he was yeah. like, oh, dude, thanks for coming to speak to me. I, I, I like it when people come and like actually talk to me and about my jokes and tell me that yeah. like, what they like and what they don't like. So I appreciate the fact that I could, like there was a person in the audience I was, because I told him, like, dude, like, I'm, a, really I'm a fellow Indian, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. quote unquote. So, like, he was speaking to me, you know what I'm saying? He's like, nah, dude, I, when, I, when I can relate to when people can relate to what I'm saying, I love it, whatever. And we parted ways. But the point that I want to get at is, like, he asked me, so have I ever considered doing comedy? My whole thing is, I, even if, okay, I know I'm funny, I know I'm witty. Like, yeah. I can think of something on the spot really, really fast. Yeah. But I don't feel. Like I wouldn't say that it's a. I wouldn't say it was my place to now. Okay, because like one person who is a comedian told me that I'm funny. Ooh, I'm a comedian now, so yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, go yeah. on tour and go and perform at every show that comes <laughs> up. Because I, f- I, I believe, um, and a lot of people probably feel this way as well. I believe in respecting somebody else's craft. Yeah. Because season, I actually spoke about this in the I car on the way yeah. over. We're speaking about how like um, we mentioned it in the boiling point episode. We 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 doing the part now, the three of us, yeah. and then. There were people who actually came and spoke to me and was like, bro, I've been wanting to do one for so long, but like, and I believe them because I can, I know them personally, so I know their lifestyle doesn't allow for two hours of the day, they're doing nothing. Mm-hmm. So they can sit and record something for two hours and yeah. like take another three hours to edit. And then get to it. Yeah, and then there are other people who clearly are doing nothing with themselves and they're like, oh, I've always wanted to start the podcast. And then it's like, why haven't you yet? You know, <laughs> but it's like, my whole thing is like, you should always respect somebody else's craft on whatever they're yeah. doing. Because don't buy There are people who like, like I'm, for those of you who don't know, I'm a, I'm an artist, so like I draw everything and even anything all the time. And I don't mind people coming up to me and talking about it and saying like, oh, I've always wanted to learn. I'll give you tips. I'm like, oh, you can get self-help books. You can watch YouTube tutorials. Mm-hmm. I can help you. I can give you some tips and whatever. But then it's like, when this is the one thing that I hate, and this is one of the reasons why I didn't indulge in the conversation with Zahir too yeah. much. I've been in awkward, awkward, awkward conversations where people are like, oh, I'm an artist too. And I'm like, okay. I'm always open to see people's stuff. Like, I'll be like, uh-huh. show me. Yeah. Show me what you got. <laughs> Let me see what you got going on. So there's a lot of, uh, like, you guys will learn eventually, but there's like, when it comes to like the visual art world, there's a lot yeah. of different mediums. You can do digital art, you can do pencils, yeah, 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 you can yeah. paint, you can sculpt, you can do whatever. I'm an illustrator, so I draw things. Give me a pencil or give me the laptop and a tablet and I'll draw something for you. That's what I love. That's what I specialize in. So somebody will be like, oh no, I, c- I illustrate too. And they'll show me something, dog. And they're like, they, they, they tooting their own horn so hard. Mm. Like this guy, is, he's, he's his own five piece band. He's oh, yeah, legit yeah. like, and then you see what he's Gotta got. And you're like, ego. Like yeah, you, yeah. yeah, and then like you ask him like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> and then like you, you, in, the, in your mind, you're trying to decipher like, who is this? Guy? Like, you don't wanna like ask, but don't is you this Drake like that you drew kind like of thing? Different between like my bro, if those brothers is an illustrator, maybe he's still learning, he's still yeah. trying. To no, I'm not talking about the guys also learning, guys. Let me make that clear. I'm not talking about the guy who's like, hey man, I've been doing this for two years, I'm still figuring it out, whatever. Like you can see, he's he's still like, yeah. I'm talking about the guy that like walks up into, he oh, walks into the crowd and he's like, yo, I like can, I'm that guy, yeah. I can, I can draw you like, yeah, yeah. like looking in a mirror, and then you look and it's like. Are we talking about the circus mirrors that warp you? Crazy, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you mean that mirror, or like, do we mean like a normal? Because like, rah. Yeah. I've seen yeah. people draw some stuff, and I'm like, so you, you said this is Drake? Oh, okay. Why did you tell him it's trash? <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it's like, like Martin Luther. So, <laughs> but that's why I say like uh, uh, the, the reason why I didn't indulge in the conversation because like I've been in that conversation with people with my own art, with my yeah. own craft, so yeah. much, and I I. 
I appreciate the people who respect it and be like, I know I can doodle and I can kind of draw, mm. but like I'm gonna leave the, the professional yeah, drawing I to you. I also like I won't I I still don't because I don't think I, I earn the title so to say. Yeah. But I don't. Uh, if someone asks me like, do you, do you um do cinematography? Do you do photography? Oh yeah. I never say yeah. yeah. I'm a photographer. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just yeah. take pictures sometimes. It's like, and like I don't I don't really call myself a rapper, even though I know and I'm you know I'd mm. say I I'm pretty good at that. But I don't really walk around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm I think it's a title thing. Man. Yeah. You can't just claim that. I call myself a muse because I mean yeah. then it's then it's the, it broadens the spectrum a little bit more. And also, but like, like kind of on, on the point that you're under with like people's like like with the guy saying that you should try it like i always feel like you should respect people's yeah. craft but like also just try it man just try no, no, no. It. I'm, yeah. I'm not guys in no way shape or form am i saying don't try it because one of the things i i've been trying to instill in violet a lot is like because she's been right my child's into like a lot of shit. So she, she she changes her mind all yeah. the time and i didn't wouldn't say i didn't have it i didn't really have that luxury growing up because like there was this broad world of all these yeah. things i could do growing up like when I grew up, especially in my family on my dad's side, you had one of two options: play soccer, go swim, pick. Go I swim. Did both. Like yeah. So so my family <laughs> is body. yeah. Like my really? fa- my family is full of on my on my dad's side. Anybody who knows the surname Kane, and and, and Ashley as well. There's a lot of people who swim. Like we swim. We are f- we like we basically have gills, but we can all. Swim. I didn't know that actually. Like both careers out of the go. Yeah, my uncle my like uncles are known throughout for East swimming Indian for like for for um. Yeah, for for physical activity, physical sports, yeah, specifically swimming and the the lifeguards at the beach. If you ask anyone of the lifeguards at the beach if they know my uncle Keith, they'll be like, he trained me. You'll be like, yeah, he's my mentor. He trained yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Keith has like I didn't know that. Max of badges. Respect Uncle Keith. Shout out. Shout, shout out Uncle yeah. Keith. But anyways, like, so I didn't have a lot of options as a kid growing up. Where it was like, okay, cool. you oh, you can go and play volleyball. Or you can go do yeah. this and do that. Like, I had op- uh, drawing, no, not drawing. I had soccer, swimming. Played soccer, didn't really enjoy it. Yeah. Did swimming, but I didn't do it professional like some of my cousins did. Yeah, but didn't I take do it know seriously. How to swim. Now I know how to swim because yeah. I, I I did like a couple of training days with the guys and stuff, and like I was at the pool all the time. But she's got like this this plethora of options of things she can choose, and the only thing that I wanted to take away from things is like find something that you enjoy, find something yeah. that you're passionate find about, find a passion, and stick to it because you might go through like she went through a ballet phase. Yeah, she was like ballet is the bomb. I got photos of her like in a ballet kit, in a tutu. But like after a while, she's like, mm, I don't feel ballet anymore. But now she was, let's say she was doing ballet for a year. Yeah. She took a, st- a slot for a year that some other kid would have wanted to yeah. do and would have probably been doing yeah. ballet for four or five years by now. But she took that slot and she was like, mm, I'm done. Because it was With like the flavor of the month. Kind yeah, of thing it was the flavor of the month. And now, like I always tell her, if you want to do something, rather first go and see what it's about. Yeah. Do Like watch some videos in it. If if I know people who ha- who have like a club or like a class, I'll take you, watch it and <coughs> see what it's about. But don't run into it and then halfway like through you're like, mm. nah, I don't feel like doing this anymore. Well, either because like I mean, some people learn from a distance and some people learn, but like like taking Bro, yeah. yeah, that shit costs money. <laughs> facts, <laughs> facts, facts. I used so to do ballet also. I have to play. I have to pay for these classes. I have yeah. to buy your uniform. I have to buy this and buy that. Six months down the line, you decide I don't want to do this anymore. What do I do with all the shit that I bought? Yeah. So no. Given so telling, telling everybody. Like we, what for that? Like Saint Thomas, you, well, you went to Saint Thomas, right? They actually have free ballet lessons. There, I used to do ballet. No, they don't. They no, they don't. When I when went you went to the school. Yeah, I literally yeah. like when I was in Galway yeah, Primary, I literally went to ballet there. Yeah. But I was like, but Violet goes to ba- she went to ballet on the weekends, and I was being taught by an independent teacher. Oh, so, so like those classes, thing, you yeah. don't pay for that. But the point is, like, rather find something that you really want to do, and that you know, like, you know what? I actually, I could, I could do this for the next 10 years and I wouldn't be bored of it. And then channel all your energy into that. Because there are too many people who like, I knew, I knew dudes who were like, they, they make beats, they're a rapper, they're a photographer. Oh, this is one guy, by the way. Yeah. I'm talking about one person. He does mm. all these things. He's a fashion designer. He's a, I'm like, Cloud yeah, pick a lane, dog. Cloud chaser. Pick, just pick but a lane. I, uh, not, uh, I don't look, I don't know who's putting, but I'm just saying like, <laughs> in the sense <laughs> that, um, <laughs> I feel like today, <laughs> ne, you need to be so multifaceted, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Tyler like like create, Tyler yeah. the creator. I was about to actually yeah. go on that point too, because like, he's a rapper now, yeah. he's, yeah. he's literally one of the guys at uh, Louis Vuitton yeah. designing, mm. he's a beat, a beat maker. Yeah. Like, there's a lot that he does. Guys, I wholeheartedly disagree with you both. What do you what mean? You really disagree with you both. How do you Let me mean? tell you why. Okay. Tyler, the creator, respected Tyler, the creator, because he's one of my favorite artists. Come to the podcast. Yeah, Friend of the pod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but 
I know what you guys are trying to say, and on 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 that level, yeah, I agree with you. But this is why, I could I could say the same thing about Pharrell. Pharrell started out as a producer. Yeah, yeah. Right? He started out as a producer. He m- only made beats, right? He still belonged to the Neptunes at that point yeah, in time, like yeah. way back in the day. He started making beats for everybody, and then he started hopping on songs. So then he became a singer. He wasn't a rapper; he was a singer. Then he became a rapper. But it's like when we talk, I'm just talking about like local people now. Like find the thing that is. Esta- I, I believe in finding the thing that establishes you, and then from there, just branch out into other things. So like. Get success so that when you do try a different venture, if that venture fails, you still got your main yeah. thing going on. Mm. So like I like for example, we I, I the, the podcast now is my branch out. Mm. I am known as an artist. So like yeah. people when people like I've I've I'd got to the point where like when people spoke well, it happened one time. <laughs> I'm, I'm making it sound like it happened all the <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened this one time where a friend was talking about or mentioned my name with a group of another friends, and the friend was like. Oh, the artist guy, he did the. So I was like, you know, yeah. I'm known for that. <laughs> they now. know me. They know me for that now. But like Tyler the Creator was known for making music for the longest time, and now. But the thing is, like the Louis Vuitton thing, it's more like a partnership. Mm. Something like Pharrell and Adidas. Yeah. Because I mean, Pharrell only wore Adidas for like the longest time yeah. when he stopped wearing babes. Yeah. But I mean, he didn't even stop wearing babes. He just like alternated between the two kind of thing because yeah. he still wears babes to this day. But like when Pharrell like made the ice cream, so was Adidas sneakers. Really? Yeah. I didn't know ice creams are Adidas. I didn't really know that. Yeah, Adidas, right? Like me a paper. Like shell toes and stuff. But besides that, man, I feel like sometimes, like back on the Tyler, the creative thing, mm-hmm. like he was a rapper, right? But he had that idea that he just wanted to be an artist in general. So he used to yeah. draw his own covers. Yeah. He organized his own um, festival, Camp Flogno, mm. and even put a whole band together, you know? Mm. So but remember when he did that, he yeah. didn't do it at the beginning of his career or like while he was still building up his, yeah. he was already like, he wouldn't even say peaking, but he was uh, approaching the yeah. Everest of his career. He wasn't like doing it like in the beginning. That's why I say, in my opinion, get to a point where you know like, okay, cool. I'm successful enough that if I do broaden my horizons and do it, I mean the same with Drake and OVO. He's on his own entirely and he has yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. things going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But initially he was under young money. The He was, you yeah. know, all he did was make music. Yo, all he did was make music. Don't and before that, Gladys, boy. Before that, before he made music, for those of you who don't know, Drake was in a TV show called The Grassy. The Grassy, yeah. And he was, he was the guy in the wheelchair. He was the dude in the wheelchair and stuff. He, he wasn't always in the wheelchair, but he, yeah, he got like shot around. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. The, sh- the rest of the Did series. you watch The Grassy? I watched clips of it. I didn't watch watch the whole thing. Uh, at this oh, point, we just watch clips because it's. <laughs> yeah. we, don't know. we don't want to download the whole season just yeah. to watch one yeah. episode of Drake and that kind of thing. But I mean, he was a regular on the show. Yeah. But it's like. um. Like when his eyes are still deep in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the teen, old teenage phase. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Hyper as a bush. Mid, mid yeah, puberty. <laughs> Don't come for me, Trey. Come, come for mid me. Mid puberty. But like the, the point I'm trying to make yeah. is that the reason why in, like, right now he has like OVO and all these other things going on and like these night partnerships and whatever is because he, he reached like such a pinnacle in his rap career that doing something else is easy because people are going to want to buy it. It just flows it's into everything. People are going to want to buy it because it's started the creator. People are going to want to buy it. Even yeah. because it's, I mean, dog, like the Kardashians have been making makeup. So you're saying as a person, you should become a brand before you start doing anything? A thousand percent. One I don't like the idea of being a brand. Man. I, I just One thousand what percent. Do you mean? I don't like the whole idea of just like having... No, we are a brand right now. Yes, we, me, <laughs> individually. Us as, us as a group as now, well, we are yeah, as the whole business crusade. Yeah. But I just I kind of find it like I feel like I just I just hate being like in rigid places where I can't really be myself because I'm known as a brand so I have mm. to portray myself as a certain. I get what you're saying. Like I I understand there's some professionalism to that though, mm. but I just don't want to be too boxed in and. I feel you. you but know? the thing is, if you if this is the, okay, this but this is the, this is the way that I see it. Yeah. If you portray your brand as you, yeah. then you don't have to be Do different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, so you facts, can facts, be yourself, facts, you can facts, go facts. out. We and always knew Tyler was a weirdo. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Weirdo. Weird when he I mean, you eat a cockroach in your first video. You yeah. Yeah. So yeah. when he makes some random stuff, things, yeah. it's normal because that's what he's known for. The but same as the, the jackass guys. They are like, mm. granted that mm. them as a collective are known for doing the dumbest things we've probably ever seen. Latin for pain. Individually, they are, they, they are who they are. Yeah. And you they are known for being that. So like when you see Steve O, you know something dumb's gonna happen. Like real soon. Not because he's a guy like from Jackass, but because he's Steve O. They try too hard, man. Like why would you try too hard to hurt like to hurt yourself, guys? Uh, people pay a lot of money to see that. <laughs> but I also think that some I don't wanna say 
I think there's like, okay, let's take music for example. I think music is the best way to use this example. But like, if people start out, they always seem to like kind of play to what the, um, the, 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 the labels want. Yeah. And then when they basically become Drake on yeah. that Drake level, yeah. maybe that Doja Cat level that she's yeah. at now, then they become themselves kind of thing, don't you? Yeah, think? yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then they're not constricted by the exactly. label anymore. Exactly. Then they can yeah. do whatever they want. So I think there is also that kind of like when you're starting out, it's almost like, okay, cool, I need to play by the rules yeah. in order to get to that point of, being able to do whatever I want to do, mm. but yeah, actually, know do you know who Caribou is? is? Uh, yeah. There's like, she's like a rapper under um, um, Lil Yachty's um, label. Oh, crazy! She okay. just got signed by QC, the same label that actually signed Migos. What's her name? Uh, Caribou. Mm-hmm. So she actually wanted to be an actor, right? Mm. But she was like, no man, I don't think I'm actually gonna get much more opportunities by being an uh, actor first. So she just like she went from being an assistant mm. of Lil Yachty, then she went to become a rapper. Like Twenty one oh. was a bodyguard. He was a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes people shooter. actually have like. So when he said how many bodies he got, a lot he meant that. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> he in, 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 that in a, in a, in a ten, what a twelve car garage. A literal yeah. dog. Yeah. yeah, but anyways, yeah. So my point is like sometimes people might be like, oh man, I actually I know what I want to do, but I need to just like cut off. You have to navigate. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. and it's just like pretty cool though. Just just actually. N- like especially when you're a rapper, bro, you can literally do many things. And she she says I don't. Uh, she said that after she drops one album, she's never gonna literally drop another album. She's gonna just focus more on like acting and stuff like just that. Just so that she can get on. And yeah, act, she said basically. that. Well, the only reason I became a rapper is because I wanted to be an actor. And people asked her why, because I saw Larry Yardy's dumbass acting. Mm. And I'm like, bro, that's crazy. Yeah, how high too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch it? It was pretty. It was like pretty crazy. Movie. <laughs> it's really, really, really crazy. Yeah. So the only just, reason I watch is for DC Young Fly. DC is one of my favorites. Really? Yeah. See, I'm yeah, sure you watch 85, 85 South. All the time. The Carlos and then. All the time. Mm. That's how I got the video that I sent in the group when I was making video roasting. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. one of the snippets from the 85 South show. Hilarious. But anyways, I followed them for like a minute. But yeah, but I'm, I mean, in that regard, I do understand because there are certain things you need to, well, in certain industries, obviously, I imagine there's certain things you need to do in order to, like, the, the ladder you need to climb. There's steps to get to that ladder. Yeah. Mm. You know, so like, for just to be in the media industry as like a whole yeah. just find yourself in the bucket somewhere yeah yeah because yeah. that bucket has a little Up. spout that leads yeah, to the yeah. acting world because i mean how many times have we seen music artists become actors mm-hmm. all the time they always try ll cool j has been acting as a police officer for like 10 so years bra, did you, you know that ll cool j is it. the only black person in a horror movie to actually to actually survive ll cool j <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> deep lucy yeah. He survived that shit. <laughs> Only <laughs> black person. Respect. Respect. He was the last person in the movie too. He was like <laughs> at, the, at the end <laughs> climbing up the submarine. So crazy. Thing. I was like, yeah. that's really weird. And, you, and Ado was actually saying something now that's messed up. It's actually messed up to think about because like there's such a gender la- generational gap right now mm-hmm. because he was about to say it now. There are, there are people watching this episode right now mm-hmm. that don't know that LL Cool J was a rapper yeah, and has like 12 albums. Oh. You know, he was Mama said, knock you out. You know? Yeah, be, he's been making music, and it's like just because he's focused on. But he's just known as an actor, though. Most, most, most yeah. Yeah. people wrote off the fact that he's been making albums like for years. Will Smith also in, he's an example. But was a rapper yeah, but Will Smith Grammy. was a Will Smith was a an actor all the time, and then he became a rapper for a little bit, oh, and then he went back to oh acting, yeah. and then he became a rapper again, and then he just quit completely. Cloud yeah, Chase, Will Cloud Smith Chase. was on Fresh Prince before he became a rapper. Oh, okay, really. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes you sense the makes reason sense why sense. he was called it was called the Fresh Prince, the Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff was because he was it was from the show. Oh, yeah, he was an actor before he became a rapper. I don't know that. Mm. So they actually they also won a Grammy. Most the first rapper to win yeah, a Grammy, the but they were not allowed to actually come in the, the the show. They got their award like behind the scenes. Yeah, which was kind of messed up yeah. though. Okay. But shout out with Smurt though. Uh, yeah, do you, do you, you ever use guys. the Muslim card as an escape? You uh, must have uh, by uh, now. You must have. <laughs> I, and what situations where I use it in though? I don't really. It's only when it comes to food, but it's like literal ignorance. Like I've raised you, so it's just yeah. I have to explain. I can only eat halal. I don't drink. I don't this. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. I never used it as like an escape to get out of something or whatever. I would have all the time. That's oh, crazy. Word, what sort of situation? Yeah. Though. So like, okay, let me put, let me put things into perspective for you quickly. So like, at my high school that I went to, right? If you were uh, a Muslim student, shout out to the guys who went to St. Thomas watching this. Oh, program. I know what you're gonna say. There was a Hilarious. thing that you had to like. You had to fill out this form, and you get this thing called a mosque card. And every Friday, we never got that. You you leave school early. The school came out at like one o'clock, but the Muslim students left at like twelve. Yeah, and it's just an hour and early. It's an hour earlier, uh, but then you get to leave early. But you go to the, you walk through the off, like the school's office. Yeah. You flash your card. They check. Okay, the, that is you. Yeah. 
and you get to leave. At least you guys had a system. We didn't have no system. I was <laughs> the coffee on now and you walk through walk it. Walk down, you <laughs> go on, <laughs> son. <laughs> nah, <laughs> down, just walk. Just walk. I, one of my friends actually, we were talking about that yesterday. It was like, man, bro, I borrow a coffee for my bride and a match. And I'm like, yeah. that's, that's what they do, yeah. <laughs> but we had like a thing where like you had to have this actual card with yeah. your photo on it and everything. That's what I'm saying. Valid. Like, system. valid. Like, like, you have to show them. and Now, shout out to St. Thomas. Valid, valid. And then you get to leave. So like, in, in, in those cases, bro, I'd be like, yeah, guys, I'm going home now. Like, and I, uh, when I was a kid, I could pass as a Muslim child easily. I got confused with Muslim kids all the time. If I cut this short and give me like a fade with the... Mm. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm Muslim. My name I is Kareem after that. Like, I'm a kid. <laughs> easily. <laughs> easily. <laughs> easily. <laughs> and I would get away with it because I look the part. Yeah, you know, crazy. the mixed jeans come in like super strong, bro. Like, like I made the joke with, with Zaid <laughs> yesterday because like, I was telling him like, I, I'm, I'm part Indian because my grandmother is Indian. But the reason why I look Pakistani is because my granddad was Chinese. He bursted laughing. He was like, holy shit, that's hilarious. The more you say, like, when you said, hey, I'm part Asian, I could see the Asian in you. Then you yeah. said, you're part Muslim. Now I see the Muslim in you. I'm a Muslim, dog. It's I probably look the Indian like Indian that look like I used to look like a Pakistani. Now I see a bit of Pakistani. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And then when my hair is like loose and it's like yeah. wet and shit, then I look a wine again. Ah, it just changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It changes. <laughs> oh, and then like when I tie it, tie it up, you know, a certain kind of way, and then it's like, why do you look like a cholo right now? This is so weird. <laughs> you know, yeah. Walking around like, you know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah. Disguise yeah, himself. Crazy. Just wear a chick shirt, just only tie the top button. Yeah. Keep the rest loose. <laughs> Chuck Taylor's there. Chuck Taylor's. Stand with my feet like that to the side, like, this Long way, socks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, whenever, I, whenever, I, whenever I stop walking, do that thing. When I stop walking, <laughs> that's crazy. No, but no, but yeah, that I would, I would use it in those kind of situations. I actually want to tell a me- like a sort of mess up story, but since you're bringing up the whole Islam thing, or since we brought up the whole Islam thing now, there was this one time now. I didn't know how bra was intense though. Mm-hmm. I felt bad, so we went to. For the okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock core memories for some people now. Yeah, do you guys remember pizza guys? Do you remember pizza guys? Yeah, bro. I remember pizza like guys it was in the bridge <laughs> in in Greenwich is it the bridge. It was a it was a regular thing to hang <laughs> out there. Candace and I was speaking about it like not too long ago. It was a regular thing to hang out there on the weekends yeah. and Tuesday nights during school holiday. At the time, you know, you meet up with like a whole group of friends, you're like six to ten mm. yeah. guys Squat. and girls chilling. What? You know, always, bro, especially on the Tuesday, but this one Saturday I went through with a couple of my homies. I'm not going to mention their names because I don't want to out them like that. <laughs> I don't want to give them their VIP tickets mm. to hell because that was crazy. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to tell you why. Wow, tell you why. Wow. I'm going to tell you why. Oh, let me damn. tell you why. Is it no, no, that you're giving out VIP tickets? Yeah, I'm saying, bro, the golden yeah. ticket. Like yeah. Wonka bars. You get one, you get one. <laughs> but listen to the story. So at the time, I had a, a plethora of different friends from like wherever. So yeah. Muslim friends, a Jewish friend, a, a yeah. all these people like, so we were all hanging out at um, Pizza Guys on a Saturday afternoon one day. And we were all chilling. But the one Muslim friend came late and he met up with us. By that time, we had already ordered. So he came and just sat down. And we were like, yeah, bro, of course, just come and kick it with us. No big deal. <laughs> bro, everyone knows me. Like, I'm, I'm one of the people who advocate for pineapple on food. I love Hawaiian pizza. But Hawaiian pizza has oh, these bro. thick chunks of, like, ham and, like, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that, which is haram. Yeah. You're not allowed to eat that because yeah. it's... it's it's big cubes, essentially. So cubes, my bro. Cubes, dog. Mad. Like a dice size. Like really. Yeah, like <laughs> chopped up, yeah. sprinkled on. Uh, so this guy comes and he sits down. And we're eating. But it's regular to us. And then it clicks to me and I'm like, snap. I didn't I didn't tell him we ordered an Hawaiian pizza. And he's bra, he's already he midway through his second slice. But I was bean chowing. Like he's he's enjoying himself, oh, my bro. <laughs> Eventually I like I tap him on the arm, I'm like, bruh, let's pork on that thing. He li- no no no, he literally turns to me, he's like, Are you sure? I'm like, bruh, I am t- it's my favorite pizza. There, there's cubes of pork on this yeah. thing. He's like, but I don't worry, but it's all good. I just have to ask for forgiveness. And he continued eating. I that's why I was like, I I'm pretty but sure I that's know. not how it works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were going to hell. That's so crazy but to yeah. actually think like, that yeah, you could you know, literally be condemned to, uh, to hell good. by just mm. eating food, though. Yeah. This man literally told me he just to make dua and he's fine. I'm like, no ways, guy. That's no, not how it works. I, I'm not too religious, <laughs> so I can't say if it is or if it yeah, isn't, but I think yeah. it's possible because, like. Guys, I, let us know in the comments, yeah. please tell us. But I'm I don't not think to get too true. deep, but it's like, imagine you, you broke, you have nothing to eat, and then someone offers you a pork pizza. Like, how yeah. I mean, bro. I mean, I mean, okay. I mean there's an exception to that. Still be forgiven. I mean. Let it slide. But I don't but know. But I mean. Yeah. yeah. You I mean, said that and he was like calm about it. He was like normal, but imagine yeah. like you 16 say, oh, years old. That's the thing. If you can help it, then it's a different story completely. Yeah. Then it's like, my bro, stop eating. You realize now that it's <laughs> Like, bro. put the pizza down. Yeah, bro. We'll just, like, you know, I'll eat the rest of it for you, bro. Like, you can eat the chicken one instead. But then, Literally. I mean, if they're making ham pizzas at 
pizza guys. Yeah, the pizza guys not halal. Yeah, it's not halal because yeah. they, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. Cooked, it all gets cooked in the same oven. Yeah. So it's just the thing with chicken is it's more accessible. It's all most of the time it's halal. So no, it's yeah. like no, no, no. I understand that, but what I'm saying is pizza guys contamination. Yeah, pizza, I understand. Pizza guys saying. in essence wouldn't have been halal because they make pizzas with pork in it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you wouldn't essentially have been able to eat there at all. Because it's made in the same oven. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but yeah, but that shit was wild. I was like, you're a guy. Is that how it works? <laughs> it doesn't work that way with us. Like you, you done, you done, bro. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> like you, you gotta go stand and face judgment there. You're like whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Don't get in this gate yet, my boy. You need to answer for these things. Yeah. But I mean, like as Christians, it's a bit different because it's not like you can just be like, okay, no, you know, Lord, forgive me. I mean, I mean people say that you can, but then you gotta, you've gotta literally turn your life around and like never do it again. Then they're like, okay, now we'll let it slide. Can you guys explain, like, because this I don't understand, but like the, the, the confessionals and blah, blah. Oh, yeah. How does that yeah, yeah. work? Because in I'm my mind, Catholic. you can just go and yeah, do something I'm and be Catholic. like. I'm not Catholic, so I, I don't know too much about it, but I do know basically it's like, so so basically when, from my understanding of the whole thing is, so when you, well, people people use confessionals for dumb things though, like for minor things. Yeah. But the, it's it's mainly for people who have a gigantic guilt, guilty conscience. Mm. So like, if you, like for example, Steve's left a five rand on the table, and you saw it, and you're like, mm. you slip it in your pocket, mm. and then we get we go outside later on, and we leave, and then like in the group, Steve's like, Yo, guys, I had a five rand, I don't know where it is now, I actually needed it for something. Then you go to confession, like, oh my, forgive me for oh, the I've yeah, sinned, yeah, yeah, you know, but but you're still late to tell Steve, Yo, I took your five rand, because then you look like the bad guy. Mm. So then they were like, you know, but um, the confessional thing is basically to like cleanse yourself, like to clean your conscience. But the sins remain or what? I don't know. Mm. Like I said, I I, I think I, I know that Catholics do do it, but that is only if your church has like the whole confessional mm. thing. So our, our our church is like, I'm an Anglican, so our church is very laid back. We're like, everyone always says like the uh, Anglicans are like the, what, like, wouldn't, like the laid back, like if like if you had to compare the denominations to the ninjas, it was with the Michelangelo, bro. It's like laid back. <laughs> That's cool, bro. Don't worry conditions. about that. I walked into church with like, dude, ta- ev- I would come back with a new tattoo every like couple of months to like a year or two. Yeah. And no one cared. They were like, yeah. oh, hey, Kev, how are you doing? Hug, uh, still hug me. If you don't know about this, comment, comment down below. Yeah, guys, I don't understand us. how it works. I, that's what I my understanding of it is. So like the confessional thing is for like, when you when your guilty conscience is weighing on you so bad, you like, you really feel bad about this thing that you did. You go into the booth, you know, headphones on, let the mic drop, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but those bars. Wait, wait, wait. So now, <laughs> as the past, as the person who's actually hearing <laughs> all of this now, because it's a booth, bro. You need to go into the booth yeah. and smooth sp- these bars, and then the yeah, bars is kind of like okay, mics. But but now, slides to your point, they can't like okay. Again, we don't know, but we it's like know. if Let I confess know. to like murdering someone, I was about to ask, but then does that man just keep shush? Yeah, <laughs> 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 you just don't say anything. Is he not an accomplice by them? No, though? Yeah. he's an accomplice if he knows and he doesn't say anything. By can't say anything because I don't understand. Forgive me for the five since I killed another one today. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm knocking them out like you know, uh, that's crazy. No, what it is about seeing I don't blood think I would want to be a pastor if I have to deal with that. Yeah. Like imagine they come with their deepest, darkest secrets to you, yeah, and you're just man. chilling in the booth like <laughs> I cheated on my wife with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> like imagine you. I'm yeah. sure. Like ima- okay, listen to this. These imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine. And I might sound messed up what I'm about to say, but I think that this would be an hilarious skit for somebody to film. I, any local film al- actors, uh, film actors, yeah, yeah. and filmmakers, please make this happen because this would be hilarious. Imagine the situation we're talking about now. So it's a confessional booth, but imagine that it's in like a very, very, very like traditional Kosa church. Yeah. And the priest is like, you know, one of those animated type guys, yeah. like one what of those the animated pastors, yeah, that like yeah. he, he exclaims everything. Yeah. And somebody w- like the people like this one day he's doing confessional booth. And people are just coming in with like super hot fire confessionals, and yeah. he's like trying to hold it in. Mm. And then eventually, the last one's like, "You, uh, uh, mm-mm, <laughs> I can't do that." And he leaves. <laughs> and he's like, "Ah, oh, whoa, 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 whoa!" Or whoa. Mark, like someone comes you know, to confess like cheating, and then the person they cheated with comes through, and then that person's husband. You know, and like I would love one is like, to see that. Jo, jo. Yeah, and <laughs> he's like, "Nah." Or mm-hmm. well, imagine just like telling so. the pastor, "I cheated on my wife." With your wife, yeah, that'd be crazy. What do you? Do think you should no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. Oh, <laughs> you wouldn't get that right because the people, the people, know, the people who do the confessionals know that it's the pastor yeah. in the other booth. So like, you, you, you wouldn't be able to like confess something about him. But I imagine like there was the scene where like it's like a church. Yeah, the pastor come, must have all like the tea though. People, people <laughs> coming <laughs> one by one, and, and like the confessional sort of for like something light, yeah. and then it gets heavier and it gets heavier and it gets heavier to the point where the pastor's like sitting in the thing and he's like, you. 
What? You, you, you. Yeah, what? Yeah, getting people in my never. church are doing these things, and eventually he keeps like, you just keeps judgment like, in my church. Not even I'll do my church. You, yeah. You, I just you. Imagine he's like chini, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. and he just kicks the booth door open like bang. I can't do this, and he just walks out. And people are like, I'm literally thinking of what would be an amazing scene before. Like confessional booth, bro. The things that would literally be told there at man with colleges like yeah. want to dig his own grave because <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> know no, but what happened to me ask you this like do you guys think they have to oh, keep the oath because what if let's say I'm, I'm a, but what if I quit and then people come after me because I know they're jealous of me and yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah, yeah. yeah. you have to move cities bro. but it probably so stays yeah. in the church because I mean you can't you have to leave there so what's that life what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas basically it has to be because it would be bonkers if it like if it's like I just feel or even if it was like a like a course of pastor or like a colored pastor but like like a mission veil colored pastor mm. you know what I'm saying mm. <laughs> so specific. Specific. <laughs> but people say <laughs> they're most like special veil. people mm. they like they like exclaim things you know what I'm saying they sweat a lot yeah with the Yankee chef still you know the part like I'm talking about the kind of pastor like uh, colored guys or the colored people will know what I'm talking about even during the week on his off days, the brow weighs his collar. And like he wears a shirt and like a chino and like, you know, there was polished actually black uh, shoes. When we had to go grab coffee, there was a guy actually, what do you call that thing? It's a yeah. collar. That white thing that yeah, goes, yeah. it's mm. a collar. It's, it's, it's called I was collar. looking at that guy and I was like, yeah. I'm talking about that homie. I want him to be in the booth and people are like, the thing sort of light, small confession, like, oh no, I stole the stand rand. Oh, okay. Oh, fine, my child. The Lord will forgive you and you wait. Next person comes in, hey, pastor, I bumped somebody's car the other day. I feel so bad. It's fine, my child. The Lord will forgive you. Next one. Hey, Pastor, I watched this murder happen. Hey, you. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Serious. What did you, you do? You know what I'm saying? Serious and it gets worse and worse and worse. And, wo- and to the point where, like, somebody just says something outlandish, bro. Like, they, they announce, like, some crazy. They ate, they ate someone or something. You something know, like, bad, something yeah. like that. Like, hey, Pastor, <laughs> like, I, me, I, 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 I just found out, like. Me being so uh, messed up, I'd probably blackmail. Look here. Yeah. Like the tell the police. <laughs> Like so about fifty k. Yeah, <laughs> easy. I'd, I'd literally, I'd literally use that to my own advantage. Yeah. As messed up as that sound, I'm gonna yeah. come clean. I though. feel like that'd be a, guys. Anybody like we w- we would help you make that 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 skit happen if you wanted to. Play. Oh, I would at least. Please, like, mm-hmm. let me know. I'd be one of the messed up confessionals. I'll think of something dark to say. I want to be the boss. <laughs> <laughs> balls and balls and balls. Bro. I, I want to be like though. one of them. I want to be one of the messy ones that comes through just for the fun I of said, it. I said I really want to be a pastor one day, though. That's yeah. only if I don't become rich. Because, yeah. but you need money. to remember, like, you need to sacrifice a lot of t- a lot of your time for like. Yeah, you know the Lord's work. Let's call it that. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. Lord's work. No, no, I mean it though. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Oh, oh no, that's not really good. Let's not even go yeah, into that whole thing. You just unlock more core memories so people now sneeze. Excuse. Yeah, some people were like, damn, it's best talking about it. But, but, but I just like the whole idea of like people just like, okay, I want to be a pastor. Not for the right reasons, mm-hmm. but just mm-hmm. some some churches also just also just like money laundering situations. Mm-hmm. You know? So hey, but that's I'm realizing I'm oh. really such a messed up person though. Why? I just thought like Because you're thinking about all this wild stuff. In relation to churches and blah <laughs> but now it's it's like <coughs> okay, I mean, yeah, let's just, let's just not speak your words. truth, my nah, child. Because nah, I feel like churches, the churches, some churches are like superpowers, man. Like yeah. they intense, like yeah. they. Because if, if let's say for example, okay, let's there's a show called um, the Righteous Gemstones. Let's use this as a cover up, if you will. But that's basically about these um, opposing churches. You get yeah. me? Oh, so crazy! So yeah. like. Like Man super United churches. Man United versus Liverpool. Exactly. Kind of thing. Like <laughs> we're talking about full up stadiums, like those really? kind yeah. of churches. So like like they f- what, what they do? Like, like 10,000. It's like a family, so man. My, a family your, my congregation, and your congregation. Then they beef my car. But how do they beef? But like the pastors and the families in Bowa. As if which church is doing better kind of thing. Like like how really how does that work out though? Watch the show. It's Righteous Gemstones with, um. do you know that, bruh? Um, Danny something. Danny He's McBride. always in Danny McBride. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of all I the people that get it, was Danny McBride. Really? Oh, yeah, he's, he's in there. Yeah. I love must, like two must be a comedy, though. Yeah, must uh, be yeah, yeah. But it's not to that level of, like, you know, the Seth Rogen issue. Is it a like documentary a, or is it, like, an actual show where he's it's just like a host? show. Like a, do, like, like, a, like a, a series? No, no, no. Like, like a, a series. Like they're acting and stuff. Okay. It's oh, not oh, like a reality. No, 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 no. 
I had to be insane, my bro. Was real life. Yo, I was about but to say, I, I'm, I'm watching I'm, it tonight. I'm using <laughs> that as like a, a <laughs> reference to tap myself in. How, they, how they put trail the backstage b- politics and yeah. the stuff yeah. that actually go on behind. You know what I mean? When so your churches are dark on your yeah, thing. No, no like offense, guys. guys. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, we have a lot of religious guests and like that, I mean, religious viewers. viewers. Do we? Mm. we yeah, bro, we no. should. I'm sure we do. But we yeah. like, no no offense. Believe in God, believe in Allah. Do your thing, guys. We're not trying to say, but we- Do what feels right. Basically from our own experience, from my own experiences, I've seen the dark side of church where like, at my church, I was like, yo, you guys are, whoa. Like I, I, I used okay, to question so church, bro. Hmm? Like, we, the, you know where Victory <coughs> Ministries literally is by Stanford? I used to go to that church, bro. They used, they built, like, a school. Yeah, Most of the people who went to that church, they could, couldn't afford that school, bro. And I find that so weird. Because, mm. like, mm. I'm still paying private school, tides. Yeah, that. paying tides by now. You should get, like, a discount or even... Yeah, hey, man. Discount J member, 20% off. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Nah, but I, I, I remember from my own church. I'm sure you, oh, you guys also have stories, but, like, I've seen... Like just conflict, you know. A titty squeeze um, there. Nah, not nothing like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it happened, I don't know about it. <laughs> if it happened, you no. Nah, but like there was a, there was a time, and like I, I it's, it's a, it wouldn't. I'll just I'll keep the story like just for the sake of it quickly. Yeah. So was there was a time <laughs> where like churches, yeah. yeah, bro. I don't know. <laughs> like, but people who, who yeah, went to my if it's our duty to bring the truth. Yeah, let it be it. no. But anyways, like, we were just speaking about it in the group the other day. But at my <laughs> church, I, like I said, I, w- I go to an Anglican church. I'm not going to mention the name of the church because I don't want to out my church. Like that. Yeah, but anyways, just now they we said Marks. They give you we a had a failed cake. It's not St. Marks. It's not St. Marks. It's not around the corner from us, but not St. Marks. But anyways, we, we, we had a youth and we had another church's youth join ours because yeah. there's, I don't know what the politics was there, but anyways. There was one time where like the youth, the actual youth leader, so the youth leader is normally like an adult in the church that kind of just oversees that things are going according to plan. Mm. And this one day, I don't know what was going on, but he was a school teacher. So I think he had like marking or things to do and he yeah. just didn't, he didn't make it to the youth. So we left the older kids in charge <coughs> and we were like, all right, that's like other members of the youth's br- older brothers <laughs> and sisters and stuff. Let's do this. <laughs> it's cool. Bro, <laughs> like uh, Auschwitz for cheesy, but like they were be, like unnecessarily mean to us. They were like, they were, like oh, being like, like whooping us oh. and shit. Like you know, not literally, but like you know, like oh, you can't do that, yeah. And like you know, and like, uh, like one of the things, okay, odds you might not know, but like at churches they have a thing or any religious like gathering, they have a thing called you know what praise and worship is. Yeah, so praise and like worship is like we, we just sing songs together. Like okay, you know, you cool. sing like the like the religious yeah. songs. But together. like, how does this relate to the youth? I'm gonna tell you now. Mm. So at one point in time, like the, at at youth, they always gi- they tell you this thing. It's like express yourself how you feel comfortable. You don't have to like stomp your feet and like start you know cramping and whatever. Yeah. You can just if you understand by yourself. If you understand still and you sing on the spot, you can do that. You don't have to like go crazy and start doing windmills and shit. So, yeah. uh, so we were just doing what we feel comfortable yeah. with. What were you doing specifically? We were singing. Like oh. we were just singing together yeah, and like and swaying and yeah, yeah, yeah. normal, the beat, casual, you know, not still like sl- snappy fingers. The but this one chick in the older kids, mm. let's call it the older kids, like early twenties. We were like mid teens to late teens, mm. and then like the mid, early to mid twenties, they were like the youth leaders in this. Mm. This one chick literally stops the whole thing, and she was like, "That's not how you do praise and worship. You gotta do it like this. And hey you gotta do bo- this and this and this." And I was like, <laughs> "You don't know me, dog." I was like, "No, it's cool. Mm. I'm gonna let it slide. Mm. I'm gonna let it. Slide. I left it." At the end of youth that day, bro, I gathered my homies, literally pulled them all aside. I was like, I don't know about you guys, but on s- this Sunday, I'm not going to church because I'm going to our youth leader's house and I'm going to let him know about everything. And I'm going to tell him, say, if he doesn't fix this, I'm not coming back. Bro, lo and behold, me and like a ha- small handful of my homies, we were like six or seven, locked up at that door. He was getting ready to leave to go to church. We were all standing at his Hilarious. gate like, you're not going anywhere, dog. We need to talk to you. He's not pressing up Turn him around. Bro, Crazy he wasn't behavior. a pastor, he was a youth leader, but like he was like, oh, yeah, involved yeah. in the church and stuff. Took him inside his own house, but I sat him down and was like, yo, we didn't appreciate what you what you, your, your, mean, your minions or whatever. Your were mean, doing. I'm me and me and another homie of mine. I wanna mention his name because I wanna shout him out, but I can't because I don't wanna out the whole situation. You're really out there. But he knows who he is he'll, when he watches this video, he'll be like, oh, okay, if it's me, are you talking <laughs> about me? But him and I were like the two men when talking, we're like, yo, like we don't appreciate this that happened. Like yeah, we, yeah. we're not doing this ever again. Dog, the next Friday at youth, they all had to apologize to us. They were like, yo, no, we're sorry. Again. We were yeah. still in the like, yeah, yeah, yeah boy. Don't Just ever do that again. Youth politics, Shh. dog, <laughs> crazy. I will never, bro, never let it slide. Yeah. 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 You know, when they picked the wrong when one. They for, when they pray for you, and then like the pastor puts their hand on you. And you, you. like, uh, and you. <laughs> I thought I was weird one time, because <laughs> there was like, 
I was like, I think you give you the one inch punch, <laughs> you like, oh. <laughs> bro. There were people like folding. <laughs> Stand there and put it in. People yeah. fold, and it's my turn. I'm not folding, bro. Oh, I was not like, asking you. you. And he was that like, devil's uh, got me. <laughs> and he's like, mm, that man, man he's, he's like, man, like, boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm still looking at him. Like, my boy, this isn't working. Mm, I agree, no, <laughs> uh, man. Like it's it's interesting. It seems with a lubricant. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> didn't work. Bro, lubricant, TikTok, man. I'm literally going to think about what if, wait, what if. No, bro, I'm just joking. But yeah, I've seen people, like, I've, I went to, everyone knows that it happens at those church, so I'm not really outing it. But like, if, you go, to Ebon- if you go to Ebenezer. Oh, yeah. You've been to Ebenezer for yeah. any reason. Go to Ebenezer, bro. Ebenezer now go park, right? Yeah, they, that man give people hadouken. <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro, I've seen it. Man come from church not the, not the main pastor, not the main pastor, not Pastor Neville. <laughs> not Pastor Neville. It was another dude that I saw this one day that was there. Shout out to, uh, to the Golden family. But uh, not Pastor Neville. It was another yeah. man. He was like a guest. And this dude was like, and people were just like, oh, I was That's like, guys, this is abuse. Man. Imagine person just starts yeah, fighting Pastor back. Neville. Pastor Neville, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen him touch anybody like with the whole, with the whole thing to the ground. But um, yeah, their family knows my family forever. Like my my yeah. dad was in my dad like that pastor, the main pastor at Ebenezer. Mm. My dad was in his wedding, bro. He was the miniature, yeah, yeah, groom. Yeah, my, in that stuff wedding. like no I find that's that stuff for years. crazy, my bro. Because like on, if you turn on <laughs> certain channels on DSTV, if you yeah. will, yo, man, there's some crazy stuff that's going on there. Bro, there was people but I feel like some of those grass, people. But the pastor says, "Eat grass, yeah. <laughs> you'll be safe." <laughs> yeah. and eat, but it happens mostly people to black people. people that's the unfortunate African part. churches. People then do the Dolce Gabbana song, moo, and then. Start going. I wonder why. Our I think pastor's just giving people nutmegs, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and people. Are so ma- and I'm like, bro, that's your husband, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the wife is dead. Man, you so much. I'm like, no, that's crazy, that's bro. That's hilarious, bro. A part of me feels yeah, so. Bro, I feel so, so reluctant when it comes. Let to me ask you something. Do you yeah. think that is? Because I, I I watch it and I always think to myself like I wonder if this is like a psychological thing. Yeah, it is or do these people? It is I understand super psychological. it, but like because like think about it like let's say boom there's people in front of me I'm the pastor whatever whatever yeah. and I'm like okay cool I'm gonna give you your whole life story now and then we're gonna pray for you and it's gonna be fixed and all of us. Yeah. But mm. the thing is like what they do is like you didn't give me any information in front of the congregation. Yeah. I'm telling you what your life is about and both. Yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. So I think those people are like paid off. You get me? And yeah. then the Probably rest of the possibly. congregation is like, oh, this bra is like, he's deep, he's a prophet. Yeah. Do you yeah. get me? So that's why but I, 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 I feel, feel like nothing. also there's certain people that are like in the school of the congregation at that point in time where like, have you guys ever heard of something called the placebo effect? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. So like for those of you who don't know that's what the placebo effect is like, so the placebo effect is like, they do it in medical case studies a lot. It's where mental. They give you They give you a pill and tell you that this pill will do a certain thing. So like, okay, cool. If you have a headache, just take this, you'll be fine. And your, yeah. your psychological <laughs> mind but it's takes okay, this thing and you, you swallow it and then like you give yourself an hour and you're like, oh, my headache's gone. But the, the pill itself has got nothing in it. It's, it's a just lot like about how the mind works though. Yeah. So in your mind, you're like, oh my word, this thing is curing my headaches. It's taking away my migraines. But meanwhile, yeah. it's like, bro, your, your brain is doing it on its own. So I feel like there are people, like like one of the things that I noticed about when I'm, when I'm in that situation, and Steve will know what I'm talking about, the placebo effect when people are in church and one person starts talking in tongues and then all of a sudden everybody Yo. else starts doing it. I used yeah. to ask my mom, what if, what if you curse in the Lord? Yeah, like what do you, because a lot of like people don't saying? know what the person is saying, but yeah. even the people who are joining in, yeah. they're just kind of mimicking what that person <laughs> is doing. You know, yeah, and it's yeah. like, it's like there that. are certain people who actually like, there are people who do know how to do it properly and yeah. like even I translate think it's, like it's it. real, but yeah. it's just yeah. majority of people. Where did like it, I don't know, where did it stem from though, just yeah. speaking in tongues? Like shout out to, to Christo, because he brought it up when he was here. Yeah. The people said, the geest grabs yeah. them and then like wherever that, they also in that zone where they just feel like it's, like, mm, I feel like it's, I feel like it's that. For some odd reason, I'm thinking about like, Phantom pregnancy now, cause it's like <laughs> it is so crazy, bro. To the point that your stomach, but there's nothing inside there. Yeah, and it's also like with uh, limbs, phantom limbs. Imagine yeah. you see fighter, man. You see fighter, you you see fighter. They cut off your arm. Now you in a fight. You were throwing a punch because <laughs> <laughs> you can still feel your hand. Oh like you still God. feel like it's there. So you yeah. like, oh my God. And you're like, really? Really? Now, like yeah. nubbing. Is that an actual term? Phantom <laughs> limb. Phantom I've limb, heard yeah. that phantom limb is so real that people will. Let's have example. Somebody was in the army. And he had a mad accident in his leg, and from the knee down, oh they amputated and cut off his yeah. like his leg. Mm. And then you'll be like, "Bro, my foot's itching." They're like, "Okay, scratch." You're like, "No, bro, my what left foot. foot, my <laughs> left foot, the one, the one that's missing." I look at you. <laughs> that I one, that it. one's itching, <laughs> and he's like, "Bro, his brain puts it in like my my foot's itching." Yeah. So he's gotta like figure out how to get the itch away, but his leg is gone, his leg's been gone. Mm. Yeah. Phantom flying, I can fly. But all in all, it shows like how <laughs> strong the mind is. Yeah, yeah really. Is. And un- unlock that more potential on some yeah. mind over matter. Yeah, guys, like, 
at least get yourself to like 13, 14% of brain power. Like don't hey stop using just the thing. Yeah. Get yourself to like some 14, 15%. Yeah. Look for uh, NZT at least. Yeah. Unlock some fifty percent change away. Oh, yeah. Fly. Imagine if, yeah, I, I wonder if. Do you think it's it's what? not to that extent probably? Probably but not to that extent, but I mean like I probably will unlock. Because they say most you only use a certain amount of brain I think power. it's three percent that we use. No, but ten. Ten. Generally, people use ten. Yeah. On yeah. average, the average person uses about ten percent of their actual brain power. So now my question is like, imagine at least fifty percent. Exactly. If you unlock more than what what happens? What else can you do? Yeah. Probably walk through a wall. Yeah. I like feel like you know these, these communicate. I feel like you people, never know. I feel like people who have like high IQs or like are like very like intelligent. Very uh, not I wouldn't say in, like technical minded people. Yeah, they yeah. can like look at a situation and be like, okay, cool, I can figure out that thing and like yeah. standing here and looking at them, okay, yeah. I can plug that in there, move that there, move that there, it'll work. I feel like they probably on some like twelve percent. Yeah, I hear like that. Like they are I like on that. some twelve. Uh, also, uh, I'm not saying that it is this way, but yeah. I think magicians maybe like. I feel yeah. like if you actually have yeah. powers, quote unquote, sold your soul to the table. Maybe you have a more percentage unlocked yourself because yeah, I mean yeah. it's like how are you pulling you things through. Glass what happened to the like? Remember Dynamo magician? Uh, magician? Uh, Dyn- remember Dynamo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened mm-hmm. to that dude though? I don't know. I think he's still in like. Candace, Candace actually like to, used to like to watch his shows like on TV and stuff. That was crazy. I got walked in a building, bro. And I'm yeah. thinking. There was one, one of my, the favorite, my favorite stunt or trick he ever did was he went to this like random party yeah. in like England somewhere and there was a water fountain like just in the middle of this place. And he literally just went and put both his hands like in the water. Like the water was flowing down. Yeah. He put his hands on the surface of the water and just kind of like st- sat there like chilling and watching it. And then eventually the entire water fountain froze. To the point where the water it stopped goes, coming out yeah. of the out of the mm-hmm. feature, mm-hmm. and then like when he pe- this is the part that freaked me out because then I knew it was real. When he pe- you know if you ever held a piece of ice long enough and it sticks to your hands, you're oh like yeah yeah you have to peel it off. Yeah, he literally like had to like and peel his hands like off the ice, and you could see his handprint in the ice where he he had his hands like hovering on the top of the water. So I was like. You must have had a lot of liquid nitrogen in your sleeves. Yeah. Yeah. The only way you could have froze all that yeah. water. It was Why is the only frozen? white magicians? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? David Blaine? That's a good you heard of David Blaine? I know David Blaine. What, exactly. what, what is he? David is Blaine's he's mixed. Oh. Is he mixed? But black like also like black one. Fully black. David Blaine yeah, is David Blaine. about a black man. David, yeah, really. Blaine, David Blaine's mixed. Really? Yeah. David Blaine, I'm, I'm, I'm David Blaine and Chris Angel are beefing. Yeah. Did you know that? But I. But Chris Angel's dark though. It really is. really is. But I don't have I feel like you can like be some normal heads of also. In front of children and things, bruh. Like yeah, at a children's hilarious. party, bruh, is pulling heads of parrots and stuff. So I'm like, what the hell? He's but like, I think a lot of these owners <laughs> also, they, they, they have all of these shows and, and stuff, then there, and then they yeah. eventually just settle for like a regency, regency in Las Vegas. And then that's like kind yeah, of. Yeah, but they must be making there, bank there, bruh. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying this now, they do all that kind of stuff, and then eventually they just settle for that regency, and then it's like make bank off the like live shows and stuff. Maintain the lifestyle. Yeah. It's seems to just maintain the lifestyle. But yeah, you're right. Some of the owns a dog. But I think there are people that dress normal and do normal things and stuff, but mm. they like witchcraft. Yeah. yeah. That's my opinion. Do you believe though, in I don't know how true A thousand is. percent. Have you witnessed it before? Yes. That's why I believe in it. Because I, if I didn't see it for myself, I wouldn't probably feel like... Did you see oh, a person flying on a broom? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see a person flying on a broom. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Before we close off, because we've got to close off soon, because yeah. we're going to have a guest on. Yeah. Also. But... Um, there was this one time at my high school, for those of you who went to St. Thomas and know about this particular time, we had an assembly once. <coughs> mm. I was in grade 11. Um, and the the assembly that year was being run by the prefects, right? Mm. So shout out to my homie Lorenzo because he handled that situation really well. Mm-hmm. I'm so mm-hmm. proud of you for that day, homie. But anyways, um, the, brah, the assembly was the bomb. It was amazing. Like we, we actually were, we were so intrigued by assembly that day because normally they just do whatever the principal speaks. They make yeah. announcements and we bounce. It's like, oh, can we just go yeah, to class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tired of yeah. Monday morning. But this yeah. day we were like, yo, can assembly not end, please? But anyways, um, my friend at the time, Lorenzo, he was the head boy, dep- either head or deputy, but I know he was like in the head team. Yeah. He was like, yo, listen, guys, we're gonna pray over the school, but for those who want to come forward and be a part of what we're doing, like, come, come yeah. forward. So I walk and I'm like, oh, cool. We go to the front, chilling, whatever. And he's praying. But at the time he had his hand, he was holding the, he had the mic in one hand and he had the Bible in the other hand. And the, some of the kids were on the stage with him and other, us, others of us like were on the ground. Yeah. And he was like turning and like, while he was like praying, he was like turning and turning and, and he accidentally, wouldn't say accidentally, but he just like tapped or brushed this one girl's shoulder Yo. at the, uh, in the assembly. I know where this is going. And out of nowhere, 
She's like, Bleh. this chick starts screaming at the uh, top yeah. of her lungs. Like, well, like, you know, when Goku went Super Saiyan for the first yeah. time, she was like screaming. But it sounded, it wasn't like a, it was like a, skin a like she was in pain. Yeah. yeah, she was in pain for some reason. And, bro, you can ask anyone, who, you can ask Dan, bro. Ask Dan. Ask anyone who went mm. to Thomas, ask Gus. Ask them, they'll tell you I'm not lying. This chick, out of nowhere, she just turned to Lorenzo and she lunged at him, but like with force. That's why. And he, I, I don't know what, I what, mean, what made, made him do it. I, bro, if you can, I would love to have you on the podcast so you can explain the situation to us no, because I would love. I need to no, 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 no. Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Let me explain what happened. <laughs> Forget <laughs> CBV. Let me explain what happened. He kept <laughs> every man for himself. He yeah, kept bro. his hand Scary extended times. with the Bible in his hand. He kept his arm forward. And for some reason, she could not get past it. Oh. She would like Bad lunge rhythm. and try and like, it, it was like something was literally like shoving her backwards. Cause oh. it was like, whoa, hey, mm. whoa. And he kept hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what <laughs> motivated him to do it. <laughs> Bruh, like I know it okay, sounds hilarious to you, but on the day we were fucking yeah, fearing for our I lives. I understand. Was we that the so assembly scared. that you want to end? Was that huh? the assembly that you- It was that one and well, we were like, yo, let's end this like now. <laughs> we were like, we're done now, bro, let's go. It's a rap, it's a I'd rather go to maths now than be here, bro. Like, and I hate maths. I was like, I'd rather go to maths now, bro. But anyways, long story short. That happened. not go to school. But anyways, so that happened, right? Four teachers. Four teachers, male teachers, Court could barely really keep this chick on the ground. Mm. Four Ew, male teachers crazy. grabbed her by her, holding her by her ankles, holding her by her arms, holding her by her head. But they like wrestled this chick to the ground. They could barely hold her down. Eventually, they got her up and pulled away. And, it, and then the deputy principal at the time came in and he was like, "Oh yeah, guys, go to class, please." And we left. And then ever since that, like from that day for like a while, the, the passages at school just felt eerie. Yeah. But the way I knew witchcraft existed because this chick. Got now, like whatever what was wrong with her. Talk? Whatever was wrong with her, like let's just say it was so- sorted out. She was like cleansed the whatever was Can like bothering what, her. What race was she? Of course, a chick. Oh. Yeah, but anyways, not the point. This one time <laughs> they had this, this thing at our school. <laughs> after that happened, I think I know what you're talking yeah. about. Though. So they had this thing at our school where like that oh. during break times you could go to one of the classrooms and like if you wanted to know more about the stuff or if you wanted to like pray or do whatever you could do it. There, there was a name for it. I can't remember what the name was. And break had just ended, so we are all coming in. And while we're walking into the building, this is, I mean, he could have been in grade nine at the time. He came sprinting past me full speed. Lo and behold, who's chasing him? The same chick from assembly that was like about to kill Lorenzo. And she ran up to us and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get out of this chick's way. Cause oh, four guys. Hell no, four you? dudes couldn't hold, four grown men couldn't hold you down. Who am I? You, you know, I'm not, eventually like <coughs> we found it later on that like after she was like cleansed or whatever was mm. bothering her, she like had like this new, let's call it newfound ability where she could sense when like there was like witchcraft or like mooty in the air mm. and that dude had some on him. Oh, yeah. And so she, like something would just down the off passage. and she was like, something's just not right. And oh, she became a ghostbuster. Was throwing her <laughs> towards <laughs> something along the lines of, so she was drawn to the <laughs> ass over. <laughs> 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 Sneeze, you really are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, 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 uh. anyway, so like she was drawn towards this guy and she was like, he's doing something. And as soon as she wanted to go and speak to him to find out what, what was up, yeah. he bolted immediately. So that when that all that whole yeah. saga, I was like, nah, bitch, craft silver. That is so and it's still light, bro. Cause like I remember, like in high school, in primary, people used to like yeah. go to like witch doctors and they asked them to actually insert insert like yeah, some yeah. sort of ins- ancestors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> like, and there was a girl. I think we will save it for another episode. No, but you can speak still. But I'm just saying that that's a whole other. It's a whole other topic, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, but just like back on it like black <laughs> people really used to. At a time, they mm. used to call them Obawo. Yeah. Rah. It's like you can, like you can unleash that spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. One time I had a homie that could do that. I witnessed it during class. This girl in grade six, and she starts like hunching down. She's like speaking a different, Reading different language. Uh, and I'm looking at her like, what's wrong with you? And she started telling people, you, I want you to eat glass. And I'm like, yo, manipulation. I went to the toilet, and I didn't really come back for like an hour, bro. I had a homie that could do that out of self defense. Mm, I've heard yeah, about that in primary school. That was like yeah. a thing. Because yeah, he was small, he was a small but Just fight the bra, and you find out. But like, yeah. he just, he just, he would summon Tata for like five minutes and beat you up, and then he'd be like, Woof, back yeah, 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 kind of thing. Yeah. About it. But it's anyways, crazy. guys, we need to wrap up because we need to oh get yeah. on a new. Thing. I want to have more co- topics about more convos yeah. about witchcraft. We will, yeah. But anyways, guys, really, it's really, real. we we got to comment, like, new, we got to subscribe, on now. share, yeah. do share your witchcraft story, like, comment, subscribe, share. We'll catch you in a bit, guys. Peace. Thanks, guys.